Hey guys, it's Lisa here. And in today's video, I'm going to show all of you how to force a copy of a Google Form, Sheet, Doc, or Slide. Now, the great thing about being able to do this is if you're someone who likes to share a lot of the work that you're doing and you don't want someone to accidentally mess with your original document, forcing a copy does not give them the option to even enter your original document. It forces them to first make a copy of their own so then they can do whatever they want with it. So this is, this is an awesome skill to have in your, your repertoire of, of Google skills. Okay, so fortunately it's super easy to do. Um, Google Form is the only one that's a little bit different. So I'm gonna show you a Google Form and I'm gonna go show you a Google Slide. Uh, the reason I'm not showing a Google Doc or a Google Sheet is because Google Sheets and Google Docs are, you can make forced copies for them the same way as you can um, a Google Slide. So starting off with my Google Form right here. I have one that I had made prior. Hey, what you're gonna do when you enter your Google Form is you're going to come up here into the right-hand corner where you have your three little dots. Some people call it the snowman. You're gonna go there and then you're gonna go to add collaborators. Okay, once you're here, the process is pretty much the same. Okay, you're gonna have your link up top. Okay, you're gonna copy your link. You're gonna go to a separate tab and you're going to enter it. Now you see down at the end, after this last forward slash, it says edit question mark USP equal sharing. Okay, you're going to want to get rid of all of that. Make sure to leave that last forward slash, otherwise it won't work. And you're just going to type in copy. Now you'll notice that if you were to then copy and give this link to somebody else, okay, so I'll copy just to show you. Okay, somebody else has this link, they can paste it. When you hit enter and you go to the page, you'll see right here, it's gonna say make a copy. I don't even have the option to go into the original document. I have to make my own copy first. So that's how you'll know that it's working properly. Okay, with a Google Slides presentation, a Google Doc, or also Google Sheets, it's a little bit different. You're gonna end in the same, the same way though. So here I have a Google Slides presentation for an author study for Laura Numeroff. If I want to share this with people and I want them to be able to make their own copy. I want to force them to make a copy so that they don't accidentally mess up all the work that I put into this one. I'm going to come up to share. Okay, from there, I just want to make sure that down here it says anyone on the internet with the link can view. If it didn't, you can just go to change. Okay, and you can go into the settings and make sure it says anyone with the link can view. Okay, I'm going to want to, again, copy the link. I'm going to come here. Okay, and I'm going to paste that in. And then at the end, it's the same as the last one. Anything after that last forward slash, I'm going to delete and I'm just going to type in copy. And to show you that it works again, I'm just going to hit enter and you'll see it goes straight to the page where it says copy document. And that's how you know that it, it works. So you're going to want to test it before you share that link anyway. Um, then from there, let's say I wanted to go and share the link with people. Um, I can go on to, for example, my favorite Facebook page, Bitmoji Craze for Educators. I could then go on and I could post this, the link, and I can share it with everybody. And this way, if they want to use my slides, they'll have the access to the author's study without having access to my original document. I certainly hope that this helped all of you. I hope that you're able to then share all these wonderful creations that you're making. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. But as always, do not forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss my future videos. Take care, everyone.